Jose Nestor Peckerman Perman is an Argentine football coach and current manager of Colombian national football team. As a youth-level coach for Argentina, he won the FIFA World Youth Championship three times and the U-20 South American Youth Championship twice. He coached the Argentine national team in the 2006 FIFA World Cup and became coach of the Colombian national team in 2012. Career as a player Peckerman's career as a footballer was uneventful. A midfielder, he played from 1970 to 1974 for Argentinos Juniors scoring 12 goals in 134 matches. He was transferred to Independiente Medellin, in Colombia, where he scored 15 goals in 101 matches. His career as a player ended at age 28 with a serious knee injury. Petterman was then forced to support himself and his family with various odd jobs, including a stint as a taxi driver. Coaching Career Youth Coaching Back in Argentina, Petterman worked as a youth coach for Chacarita Juniors and then occupied the same position with Argentinos Juniors. He then moved to Chile to coach Colo Colo's youth divisions. In 1994, he was offered to coach the Argentina national under-20 and under-17 sides by the Argentine Football Association. This caused some surprise as his resume did not include any major achievements at this stage. He teamed up with Hugo Tocali and coach Eduardo Urtasen. Peckerman's success, however, silenced the critics. His under-20 team won the FIFA World Youth Championship three times. 1995, Qatar, 1997, Malaysia, and 2001, Argentina, thus giving the names to his three pet dogs, Qatar, Malaysia and Argentina. The team also won the two South American Youth Championships in 1997 and 1999, when the national coach Daniel Passarella resigned after the 1998 World Cup. Petterman was offered his position. He declined, assuming instead the position of general manager of all national teams. Marcelo Bielsa was hired as coach on Peckerman's recommendation, and remained in charge until after Argentina's gold medal performance in the 2004 Summer Olympics. In 2003, Peckerman moved to Spain at the behest of Argentine businessman Daniel Grinbank who had acquired Spanish second division side C.D. Legnes. After a few months serving as director of football, the project crumbled and Peckerman left Spain. When Marcelo Bielsa resigned as coach, Peckerman was one of the two candidates for the coaching job, alongside Carlos Bianchi, who had left Boca Juniors a few months earlier, and wanted to take a sabbatical year away from football. World Cup 2006 On the 15th of September 2004, Petterman was named coach of the Argentine national team, which qualified for the 2006 World Cup. The nation dominated its initial two group stage matches and drew the Netherlands in the third match, emerging on top of their group on goals difference. The LB Celestes then moved on to the round of 16 beating Mexico 2-1 after extra time in a comeback victory. In the quarter-finals, Argentina went ahead 1-0 against Toast's Germany, but shortly before the end of the match, Germany equalized through a Miroslav close a header. Germany would go on to win on penalties, sending Argentina out of the tournament. Peckerman made defensive substitutions, including taking off Juan Rom. Enrique Elme for Esteban Campiasso, and after the loss, announced his resignation. Argentine Football Association, AFA, President Julio Grandona tried to dissuade Peckerman from leaving, but it was later announced that Alfio Bezel, who had previously coached Argentina during the 1994 World Cup, would replace him as coach. Post-World Cup on 30 May 2007, Petterman resumed his coaching career, taking up the position of head coach of Club Toluca in Mexico. 
replacing fellow Argentina Americo Gallego. At the end of the Klaus Aura 2008 tournament, he was replaced by Jose Manuel de la Torre. On 23 February 2009, Peckerman was appointed as the head coach of UNL Tigres after the sacking of Manuel La Puente, following a series of bad results. After the end of Klaus Aura 2009, however, he was terminated and replaced by Daniel Guzum. N. In July 2010, it had been reported that Peckerman was in serious talks with the Australian national team, as well as talks with the Japanese national team about taking over the role as senior manager, following the resignation of the respective coaches from each nation. 2014 World Cup cycle and becoming coach of Colombia In January 2012, Petterman became the new coach of the Colombian national team, replacing ousted coach Leonel Alvarez. Peckerman was the third coach of the Colombian team during the South American World Cup qualifiers. Before Alvarez, Hearn, and Dario Gomez was at the helm. For his first match, a friendly against Mexico, Peckerman impressed, with the Colombians completely taking control of the friendly in an eventual two. Zero victory. In his first qualifying match for the 2014 World Cup, a struggling Colombia managed to win 0 1 over Peru in Lima. Peckerman, however, was criticized for using a long range style of play rather than a close midfield passing control. This resulted in a weak Colombian side that lost to Ecuador 1 0 away from home, his first loss. In his home debut, Peckerman orchestrated an astonishing comeback as Colombia demolished 2011 Copa America champions. Uruguay 4-0 in the seventh round of World Cup qualifiers. Under his direction, Colombia also won 1-3 away over Chile and 2-0 over Paraguay at home in Barranquilla. A few days later, Peckerman experimented without many star players such as Radamel Falcao and James Rodriguez against Cameroon, resulting in a comfortable 3-0 home victory. For the last match of 2012, Colombia drew 2014 World Cup hosts Brazil 1-1 despite missing two of the squad's star players. In the opening match of 2013, Peckerman experimented yet again this time against a weak Guatemala side. He used only substitutes in a 4-1 victory, opting not to deploy senior stars, including Radamel Falcao. During the next round of qualifiers, Peckerman continued with a promising 4-2-2-2 formation that facilitated Colombia's comfortable defeat of Bolivia in a 5-0 home victory. Peckerman, however, decided to use a different formation in the match. 4, 4, 1, 1, which led to a shocking 1, 0 away loss to neighbors Venezuela. He was heavily criticized for experimenting with his side's formation, a loss that took the nation from second to third place in the qualifying table. In the match against his home nation Argentina, Peckerman changed the lineup and formation to better deal with the South American giants, which led to a hard-fought 0-0 draw. Despite this, Peckerman was again questioned with his lineup choices. After Colombia qualified for the 2014 World Cup after a 3-3 home draw against Chile, Peckerman expressed his joy for helping Colombia return to the World Cup for the first time in 16 years considering it to be one of the greatest joys in his life. Quote, Colombia won all three of its group matches, scoring nine goals and conceding only two, and went on to defeat Uruguay in the round of 16 before losing to the host nation of Brazil in the quarterfinals. In August 2014, Peckerman extended his contract with Colombia until 2018. Honors Manager Individual Management Style and Legacy Peckerman is known for his tactical management style, often selecting the players that fit his style of coaching. 
Thus he is less biased on how talented a player is. Despite his mindset, however, Petrman makes very controversial selections with lineups against certain teams. This is strongly supported by the fact that he experimented heavily with the Argentinian youth squads when he was coaching them, but reflects these methods with senior squad teams, both club and nation. One example is his change in formation and strategy. Despite having previous success with each respective formation and strategy that he has enjoyed, success with by a given team. Before the 2006 World Cup began, Peckerman made controversial decisions of dropping established defenders Javier Zanetti and Walter Samuel. When Argentina was eliminated by Germany in the quarterfinals, his substitution decision caused storms of criticism. As well, despite the dramatic loss, Peckerman was still hailed by many fans and press as a very effective coach and the Peckerman era is regarded as one that brought a lot of pride to the country. His team lost its temper after the elimination and instigated a huge brawl, which was believed to be one of the major factors that caused his resignation. While starting with the Colombia national team, Peckerman had made impressive starts, winning four of his five games and losing just one becoming a hero in Colombia for renewing the golden generation that existed in the 1990s. He has been dubbed as a Superman icon for his impressive victories. However, Colombians have also criticized and questioned his choices regarding certain lineups. One example is his questionable change in strategy with Colombia's winning formula against Bolivia. In the 2014 World Cup qualifiers, where Colombia won 5-0 but lost to Venezuela days later after abandoning the promising formula. Peckerman has been particularly unlucky in terms of his team's opponents as a World Cup manager. His Argentina team in 2006 and his Colombia team in 2014 both had to face the World Cup host. Nations in the quarterfinals, Germany and Brazil respectively. Managerial Statistics personal life. Petrman was born in Villa Dominguez, Entre Rios. His grandparents immigrated from Ukraine and settled in the Jewish agricultural colonies of Entre Rios province. Following Colombia's qualification for the 2014 World Cup, Petrman stated his desire to be a naturalized Colombian, which was granted by President Juan Manuel Santos the following day.